Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says he's concerned over certain aspects of the subpoena issued by three House committees. In a statement today, Pompeo said the committee's request can only be understood as an attempt to intimidate, bully, and mistreat the distinguished professionals of the Department of State. He said he will not tolerate such tactics and he will use all means at his disposal to prevent and expose any attempts to intimidate members of his department. Three House committees subpoenaed Pompeo Friday in search of documents related to the president's call with his Ukrainian counterpart. One America's Emerald Robinson has more from the White House. That's right, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who is currently traveling in Italy, announced that the State Department would not comply with Democrat deposition requests that were set to begin on Wednesday. The Secretary of State essentially saying that the State Department will not be strong-armed by Democrats. There's also the sticking point over administration lawyers if they are allowed to be present. Of course, the Secretary of State saying they should be present to, to protect classified information. However, Democrats saying they do not want to allow them in the depositions. Now, in regards to the White House, the largest reaction we continue to get in regards to the ongoing whistleblower saga is the president's Twitter account. The president taking to Twitter again several times on Tuesday morning to comment, including to ask, why aren't we entitled to interview and learn everything about the whistleblower and also the person who gave all the false information to him? This tweet from the president comes as there's more scrutiny in regards to that whistleblower complaint form that the in intelligence community inspector general released a statement about in the last 24 hours, admitting that they did change the form in regards to press inquiries. However, stating that the law had allowed for secondhand information. However, the former version of the form, which the whistleblower signed, relied on a guidance that said only firsthand knowledge would be admissible. However, that whistleblower had checked a box saying that they had firsthand knowledge as well as secondhand knowledge, but in the complaint said that they had not personally heard the call. Now, the Democrats are also continuing to point specifically to the inspector general as a consummate professional. However, there's also new information coming to light about his resume. He is a former Obama DOJ employee, having worked there in 2016 and 2017 when the Russia investigation was really getting ramped up. He worked specifically for an individual named John Carlin, who facilitated the FISA warrants on Carter Page. Carlin later resigned over the controversy about the FISA warrants. Now, Carlin had also worked for another key figure. He is a former chief of staff for Robert Mueller. So there are now more questions about the impartiality of this inspector general. Now, going forward, the State Department has said that it will respond to those subpoena requests from Democrats. However, it's not likely to be by Wednesday when Democrats had hoped to start taking depositions. At the White House, Emerald Robinson, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.